Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, the Int Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta from the Resurrection F movie will be dropping on Global in uh, less than 12 hours from the time this video comes out. So, in this video, I want to give you guys a full preview of everything you need to know about this release from the banner to the unit details to the animations to hopefully help you guys decide whether or not you want to spend your hard-earned dragon stones to try to pull them, or instead save those stones for uh, something else in the future. So, yeah, with that said, let's jump right into it. And before we talk about the banner, we are going to start with the animations first. So here we go, we're on the official Tokon Twitter page, and uh, I'll be showing you guys the uh, JP animations, because for some reason on Global, they don't like to have any music in the background for the animations and I feel like the music just makes everything so much better you know so let me just uh, pause my music here and enjoy guys Okay, so there you have it. Those are the animations for the Jocko, as well as the uh, Blue Goku and Vegeta. And I mean, for some reason, guys, I'm just a sucker for like the Blue Boys. You know, like any time we get animations for a pair of Blue Boys, whether did I say Blue Boys again, Blue Boys, um, it's just awesome. You know, like the uh, Tech LR, of course, from the uh, seventh anniversary. Uh, the original Blue Boys, the Fizz LR, um, was amazing as well. Like, any time we get animations for a Blue Goku and a Blue Vegeta, it's just incredible. So, I love these animations. They are, um, at least, like, as far as TURs are concerned, like, some of the best animations of the game, in my opinion. So, very good start right there for these units. Now, let's move on to... Uh, the banner because I'm sure that's very important to a lot of you so this was the banner that dropped on a JP uh, I want to say like four or five months ago and I do expect at least one change for the featured units for the featured pool so of course we have the uh, blue Goku that Dokkan awakens into Goku and Vegeta and then we have the uh, Jocko which is the banner side unit and then for these other featured units, um, I think the androids will be replaced mainly because they were recently featured on a global, right? So um, if these guys are to be replaced, it could actually make this banner a little bit more exciting. Um, although the only other option that I think makes a lot of sense right now would be Raditz, right? The Fizz Raditz which would be a newer unit, but not necessarily a more exciting unit, not necessarily a unit that people would want more than the androids, you know? So, 
Uh, yeah, I do see them getting replaced. I don't know by who, but it could be Raditz. And in that case, um, I don't think the value of the banner changes too much. But anyways, we got the androids here from JP. We have the um, STR Super Vegeta, of course. The Fizz Transforming Frieza. The Fizz Beerus, super, super old. Not the best anymore, but eventually we'll get an amazing Extreme Z Awakening, of course. And then also the STR Jiren, kind of the same deal. Needs an Extreme Z Awakening, uh, not the best right now. So overall, the value of this banner, let's say assuming that the androids are replaced by Raditz, uh, is okay. It's okay. I mean, I think STR Super Vegeta is still quite powerful. His defense is really not the best, let's be honest, but his offense is still up there. Um, those guaranteed crits, still amazing. So I still think he's a very good unit. And uh, Fizz, Frieza, I still love the fact that he can pop his active skill on turn one, um, which makes him a still very versatile unit. And of course, on longer events, he can stack defense um, and become very tanky. So yeah, not a bad unit either. And these two need Extreme Z Awakenings, but um, you know, wouldn't be bad to have if you don't have them at all, right? So um, yeah, Banner is overall okay. It's like a... 7 out of 10, I would say, you know, like nothing crazy, but by far not the worst uh, Dokkan Fest banner we've seen. So that is the Blue Goku and Vegeta banner. And finally, let's talk about what these guys do. So we'll start with the Goku and Vegeta first, and then we'll uh, cover the Jaco as well. So yeah, we got the uh, Goku and Vegeta. We're starting with Goku first, and then we exchange into the Blue Vegeta, right? So Leader skill is Realm of Gods or Mastered Evolution. No new category here. Category key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 170%. Plus an additional HP attack and defense plus 30% for characters who also belong to the Your Saiyans category. So of course, this covers a lot of units. A lot of units that are uh, in Realm of Gods or Mastered Evolution are also Pure Saiyans. Like all the Gokus and Vegetas and so on and so forth. So... Very, very good leader skill right there. Uh, super attack raises attack, can be stacked infinitely, causes immense damage, and then passive is activates the entrance animation upon entry once only, and then key plus three, and it launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack for three turns from start of turn, and then attack and defense plus 150%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack, plus an additional Attack and defense plus 25% with each attack performed up to 100%. And of course, this is calculated separately, which means that the actual boosts are much higher than they appear. So here is the calculation right there. His additional boosts when attacking are calculated separately, resulting in a total boost of attack and defense plus 275% when performing a super attack, plus an additional boost of up to attack and defense plus 525%, starting from the turn in which the character performs the fourth attack during battle. So basically they get up to attack and defense plus 525% after getting the full boost from their passive, which is pretty insane. That means their defense will be pretty high. You know, it's not gonna be like the best because they don't have uh, any additional defensive capabilities like damage reduction or guard or anything like that but the actual defense number should be quite high so they're still going to be pretty tanky and of course offensively they'll be putting out some pretty big numbers uh, you know some pretty big damage as well right so uh, that is the Goku uh, the active skill is the exchange into Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and it says yeah exchange with another character which is the Blue Vegeta can be activated starting from the fourth turn from start of battle once only and uh, links are Saiyan warrior race super saiyan warrior gods super god combat resurrection f prepare for battle and fierce battle and categories are realm of gods pure saiyans movie heroes goku's family bond of master and disciple turtle school mastered evolution bond of friendship accelerated battle battle of fate power beyond super saiyan and bond of parent and child a ton of categories right there and yeah, that is the Goku. So jump it over to the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta after the exchange. Uh, his super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage. And passive is randomly changes key spheres of a certain type into excluded to rainbow key spheres 
for 3 turns from start of turn, and then attack and defense plus 150%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack, chance of performing a critical hit plus 25%, plus an additional key plus 1 per key sphere obtained, and then, or sorry, per rainbow key sphere obtained, and then plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% with a rainbow key sphere obtained, plus an additional defense plus 50% with 3 or more rainbow key spheres obtained. So the cool thing about this guy is that with uh, 4 rainbow key spheres, you're essentially getting guaranteed crits. Now, it's not going to be that easy to get 4 rainbow key spheres, but nonetheless, it is possible to maximize your crit chance, right, with 4 rainbow key spheres, and then... Uh, yeah, you're getting a ton more attack and defense with just one Rainbow Key Sphere, and then 50% more defense with three or more Rainbow Key Spheres. And with these separate calculations, let's see here. Uh, so yeah, additional boost calculated separately. So when he's super attacking, he gets attack and defense plus 275%, plus an additional of up to attack and defense plus 425% with one Rainbow Key Sphere, and then up to defense of 500%. A boost with three or more rainbow key spheres obtained. Of course, on top of that, he's getting attack and defense uh, plus 50% on the super attack for one turn, right? So uh, he should be even more tanky than the Goku, putting out some even bigger damage numbers. And uh, of course, the crit chance as well will uh, help with the damage output. So um, that is the Goku and Vegeta guys. Uh, overall, really solid units very very good units uh should be putting up some impressive numbers um both offensively and defensively and uh you know good leader skill you know while they don't lead any new categories uh you should have a lot of units at least most people should have a lot of units that you know get this full 200 percent leader skill and i mean the units that get this 200 percent are some of the better units in the game right so yeah the team will be uh, quite powerful and you know just an overall really really good unit now the only thing I'll say is that you know since it's been four or five months since it came out on JP we do know that there are more powerful units right around the corner like for example the uh, Gallic Gun, LR Trunks, and Vegeta um, should be coming out before the end of the year probably around like Christmas or you know sometime early December and those guys are just objectively better, you know, and uh, also LR Zamasu. Um, so keep that in mind when you're you know, choosing or deciding whether to summon or not for these guys uh, over the other units coming very, very soon. I mean, of course, you can summon for all of them, but you want to like properly budget your stones to make sure you have enough for everyone, right? So um, yeah, that is the Goku and Vegeta. Uh, overall, I do think they're very very good so uh let's move on now to the jocko um we got self-proclaimed super elite agl jocko leader skill is defender of justice category key plus three hp attack and defense plus 130 percent super attack uh supreme damage with a great chance of stunning the enemy and passive is key plus three attack and defense plus 140 percent great chance of evading enemies attacks including super attacks as the first attacker in a turn, and then attack enemies attack and defense minus 20% for two turns, and high chance of evading enemies attack, including super attack, as the second or third attacker in a turn, plus an additional attack plus 60% when attacking an extreme class enemy, and then plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% up to 80% with each attack evaded. And of course, his boosts are calculated separately. So he gets attack and defense plus 332%, starting from the turn in which the character evades four attacks during the battle. And then he gets attack up to 440% when attacking an extreme class enemy. Now, even with the big boosts, he's not going to be getting like crazy attack um, stats or crazy damage numbers because, you know, he's a side unit with like lower stats, right? But his defense is actually his uh, strong suit. He will be getting some pretty good defense along with the high chance to dodge, which is going to be great for events like uh, Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, or anything else where you can dodge. Um, he's going to be one of your more reliable defender slash damage mitigators, I guess. So um, overall, a very good side unit. Uh, nothing more to say about it. Oh, 
uh, Lynx, Brainiacs, Flea, Solid Support, Patrol, uh, Signature Pose, Resurrection F, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Movie Heroes, Patrol Pose, Space Traveling Warriors, and Defenders of Justice. So, yeah, a uh, great unit in the Jocko. Um, his categories, his teams are going to be a little bit limited just because he doesn't really fit into that many categories. And uh, his links are, you know, a bit wonky as well. So, it might be hard to find like a great linking partner for him. But, um, yeah, he's, he's quite good. He's quite good. So, that is the Jocko. We just went over the Goku and Vegeta. And the banner is okay. So at this point, you guys basically have all the info you need to decide whether you'll want to spend your stones or not on their banner when it drops. Uh, my opinion is that... Uh, I mean, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. I did say earlier today in that uh, data download video that I'm still on the fence about whether I think they're worth summoning for. Because on the one hand, they're really good. And their animations are amazing. I mean, I I love these animations. I really do. But just the fact that their banner is not really anything special. And the fact that, you know, we got the Gallic Gun, Vegeta, and Trunks so close to release. Um, it's a bit of a hard sell, man. It's a bit of a tough sell to, like, convince people or tell people to summon right now. So... I would say you can skip this banner. Uh, I, I think that's definitely fine if you want to skip the banner. If you really want to summon, if you really want these guys, I would go light on the banner. Um, and that's of course dependent on like how much you spend on the game or like how many stones you have. So light is going to be different for different people, right? But for me, like I think, you know, three, four multis maybe. If you usually spend like a thousand stones on a banner, maybe. Cut that by half and do like 500. If you usually spend 500, then maybe do like 200, you know, something like that. Just go a little bit lighter than you normally would so that you have more stones for the LR Trunks and Vegeta, for the LR Mursa Masu, who are just objectively better units that are coming this year, right? Like literally in a month or so. So uh, that's my recommendation. Either skip the banner if you don't really care too much about these guys or spend little, you know, go light and uh, save most of your stones for the other stuff that's coming. Oh, we also got the Heroes collab. Don't forget about that. We are getting another Heroes banner, Heroes collab, um, you know, Super Saiyan 4, Limit Breaker, Gogeta or Vegeta, I'm not sure which one, honestly, but we're getting some pretty exciting stuff for Heroes this year, so uh, definitely want to have some stones for that too, right? So that's my recommendation, guys. Either skip, go light, let me know in the comments. What you guys are planning to do of course the decision is ultimately up to you i'm just here to provide you guys with some information and uh, some advice and uh yeah hopefully it helped hopefully it helped so that's it guys that's all i gotta say as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.